श्री रिपुन बोरा जी थैंक यू सर यू हैव गिवन मी द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू टेक पार्ट इन दिस मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट बिल सर आई मस्ट कॉम्प्लीमेंट द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर फॉर ब्रिंगिंग दिस बिल बिकॉज दिस बिल इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन व्यू ऑफ दिस considering this unauthorized occupation is concerned sir uh, the bill amends the principal act empowering state officer to evict illegal occupants in a very short period this is one thing and another thing is it discourages appeal against the order for speedy eviction now sir in one RTI reply RTI query may 2017 there is a high number of unauthorized occupation and only in the government houses under the national capital of delhi in case of central government employees sir 6 675 government houses are on illegal occupation by the after the date of central government employees in case of retirement and other things there is another data this the number of houses should be more only in case of employees who those who died and after their death also they have not vacated the uh, houses so in already honorable minister in his introductory speech he has said that in case of our mps uh, we have been uh, so much of excess occupation Uh, uh, beyond the permissible days sir i am i am one of the victim of that sir when 2016 i applied for accommodation as per protocol i am entitled for individual bungalow but that time there was no bungalow was vacant because all these are under occupation this excess days occupation so i i have to stay in a uh, in a uh, general uh, quarter but now i am still not getting because of that only this is one of the reason anyway sir the, now i am coming to the point so coming to the point the main thing is this uh, the, we have seen that uh, so many government premises these are under occupation of the companies and the cor cor corporations also and the residential accommodation occupation premises which have been granted license to individual government employees that all uh, has also been under illegal occupation after their retirement they have not vacated now from this back under this backdrop this bill is very very important and i compliment i appreciate but i want to draw the attention of the honorable minister to some shortcomings of this bills and i want to suggest so that minister in his reply he will address this shortcomings he will address this problems so that we can implement this act in a very successful manner we can implement it so the first point is that is the state officer has been empowered and the state officer has been authorized uh, to issue notice a so called notice for eviction uh, with 15 days notice that is all right but at the same time the state officer has been authorized that at the the illegal occupant he has to respond within 3 days within 3 days for eviction should be whether eviction should not why eviction should not be made now at the end of 3 days the provision is that the state officer as per their satisfaction my objection is to this sir at their satisfaction can initiate eviction now sir this word at their satisfaction this may lead to misuse of the power of the state official because at their satisfaction it is bad sir so the it is not specific what is the satisfaction and the state official may apply he can choose policy he may apply with this word taking the strength of this word he may apply he can choose policy and in that case sir <coughs> the very purpose of this bill will be frustrated this is my one point 
My second suggestion, my second point is, sir, the, the, the bill is empowered to use force to take possession of the accommodation of the state official. This bill has empowered the state official to take, to use force in case of taking possession to vacate the unauthorized occupant. So now in that, in this case also, there is a scope, sir, for misuse of this, misuse of this provision. The misuse may be in go to in this way, that is violation of natural justice and violation of the human rights also in that case by applying force. This is so my, my uh, suggestion, my um, uh, um, uh, request to the Honorable Minister in his reply, he should clarify this point so that the word, the power, the to the satisfaction of the eviction official, that should not be misused in any case. My third point is, sir, there's a, there may be delay because this, sir, the uh, state official, how he can use the force. In order to use the force, he will have to depend on the government on the administration on the police force and there is some connivance with the illegal occupants and the police forces maybe so in that way they may delay the providing of police forces providing of other forces providing of administrative support and so in that case it will be delayed and in that way also the illegal occupants will take more days and the very purpose of this bill will be frustrated so my another point is, sir, the, this is uh, the amount of damages, regarding amount of damages that this bill uh, does not quantify, the damages to be paid for every month of overstay when an appeal is filed against the eviction order. The Honorable Minister, in his introductory speech, he has explained to this. Sometimes what happens, the illegal occupant, after getting the notice, he goes to court, and takes the stay order from the court. In that case, that in that case, it is written there, of course, that for every month he will have to pay physical damages for our stay. But the quantity, one time, how much it, it will have to be paid, this is not clear in this provision. So uh, I uh, my uh, request to the honourable minister also to look into this. But I have no so much of point, and my two point is here. In this section 5 of the principal act, this is, sir, these two things is, uh, sir, something injustice I have seen. Uh, this, in this section 5 of the principal act, there is allowing additional 15 days to vacate premises. In case of, uh, in case of uh, uh, genuine compelling reasons, in case of genuine comp compelling reasons, applies only to public premises. It is a genuine compelling reasons or uh, is applied only in case of public premises. And normally, sir, public premises are under occupation of whom? Under occupation of the big businessmen, under occupation of the companies, under occupation of the corporations. So they are getting relief. By this provision, they are getting relief to get more time. This is this is a favor. This is a favor to the big businessmen, big corporators, big industrialists. But, but this act is silent in case of residential occupation, uh, re residential occupation, residential accommodation occupation under section 3B. This is silent. So in that case, this is an injustice to the individual persons, to the needy individual persons who are overstaying due to some compelling reasons. So for them, the, the justice has not been done. So therefore, my humble request to the Honorable Minister, so that only this, this favor only should not be uh, given to the corporate sectors, to the big businessmen, to the capitalist people, to the industrialists, but they should take consider the compelling genuineness, genuine compelling situation in case of the individual government employees. Sir, finally, the, this reason for eviction, in case of eviction, the state officer, the state officer has been empowered in this bill. In case of eviction, he will have to give the reasons. 
reasons to whom? To the public premises. To the occupants of the public premises, he has the, uh, he, he will have to serve uh, the reasons uh, for eviction to the public uh, occupants of the unauthorized occupants of the public premises. That is all right. But with that plea, he can go to court and he can take stay also again. But that same, same provision is not applied in case of to the individual, uh, individual residential accommodation occupant. For them, for the government employees, those who are retired, those who for compelling, uh, genuine compelling reasons have to stay for few days more. So in that case, the eviction notice there, the reasons have not been, uh, there is no provision of giving this reason. So therefore, my point is to the Honorable Minister that uh, I, there is no question of objecting bill. This bill, of course, it is the need of the hour. I fully support it. But my only suggestion, only submission to the Honorable Minister in his reply, he will kindly address these problems. With these words, I, I support this bill. Thank you very much. Thank you.